What's up YouTube and in today's video I'm going to be going over my locker tour. This is the 2023 update. You see the title. It says like and subscribe and so you should. Don't worry I'm not a default. Everything is hidden for dramatic effect if you couldn't tell by the save the world banner that I completely forgot to change. But let's get into the locker. I'm starting from gliders, working my way to the most important stuff. I will be leaving out contrails and wraps because I don't think anybody cares about that. But let's get straight into it. Starting with the Travis Scott glider and the server so Silver Surfer's surfboard. Try saying that five times fast. The get down glider from season two. The FNCS glider. It's a very cool glider, just like the needle dropper absolute fire glider the rainbow racer glider and my first exclusive on this list the wildcat glider i do not have the wildcat skin but we will get into that later that's a 70 dollar glider the snowflake glider which you got from winning a game in season two now jumping into pickaxes here let's start from the top we've got Catwoman's pickaxe, we've got the Harley hitter, the Sulfuric Streets Shine, the Ray's Quarterstaff, the Candy Axe, and then the Wildcat pickaxe. And of course it does have two styles, a pink and this shiny blue. And all these epic pickaxes. And now moving into the blue ones, we have Cold Snap, my favorite. It has a very cool sound, this PlayStation exclusive one, and the Duelist Grace, which was free for PC players. Love Lauren, very cool pickaxe. The Star Wand, a classic. I don't really like it that much though. And another exclusive pickaxe, the Rainbow Racer pickaxe. You had to level up, I think, in order to get that pickaxe. And then the GeForce Now exclusive, the Destroyer. And the Save the World exclusive pickaxe. And now into the back blings. I do have a couple cool ones. Of course, the power pack. You know me. I'm PWR Joshua, so it's required to have the power pack. And a lot of just random battle pass and skin back bling. Of course, you can get a preview for some of the skins I own. And the first rare one, the 2022 back bling. This was last seen in the item shop once the item shop changed. And now going into the mini hoop here, we've got a whole bunch of different basketball teams that everyone knows and of course the Heat and the Nuggets game has just finished last night and the Nuggets have won the championship and here's the Royale Shield and a couple of PlayStation exclusive ones and the FNCS back blings and the El Dorado which was a GameStop exclusive that I got when it came into the item shop. So I do have a whopping 172 skins in my locker. Most of them are archived, but I unarchived them all for you. This is the PlayStation 5 exclusive style for Alloy from back when I was a keyboard and mouse on console player. Laura Croft, I changed the style, but most of the time I go with the original, and that is in fact the 25th anniversary gold style, which was really hard to get. You had to land on a scar. We've got Kate Bishop and Ruby Shadows and the Deep Freeze bundle, which was a $15 bundle, I think, that you had to buy separate. Alto, love this skin. Really hoping to add the Sunset Alto to my collection. Dawn, which is a really rare skin. It's last seen 250 days, so it's not that rare. The Elite Agent, but I do not believe that Dawn will come back for a while. It was introduced in Chapter 3 Season 1 as well which makes it probably one of the rarest Chapter 3 Season 1 skins, except for Blizzabelle, who was in, she was a free PC skin and hasn't been back since. We've got some Season 2 Battle Pass skins and some more PlayStation exclusive skins, like Fixer and the Blizzard Bomber. Another play Season 2 skin, the Royale Knight, absolute fire skin. And if you look in the middle, you can kind of see the Apple exclusive skin, but FNCS skins, very cool, and the Rainbow Racer, which you had to level up 60 times with a friend who hadn't played in a while. Very cool skin. But now going into the emotes, I have 172 emotes, so a pretty big collection. Most, of course, purchased, and you will see the Test Throne, which is getting very rare. The pull-up emote, or the baby emote, it is also rare almost at 700 days, I believe. And the Laser Blast, which is almost at 800 days, I believe it is the sixth rarest item shop emote in the game, and I am lucky to have it. The Out West emote from Travis Scott before he got cancelled, and the Slalom Slo style, and of course a Mr. Beast Gaming spray there for you. 
now moving in past the Marvel emotes to the Star Wars emotes, we've got the Jedi training emote, which is very rare. You had to do challenges back in Chapter 2, Season 1. Some purple emotes there for you. I don't think any of them are necessarily rare. Accolades is getting rare. The days will be on screen, by the way. Crazy feet, not very rare. Disc spinner is getting rare, though, and floss from the Season 2 Battle Pass. Of course, a very classic emote right there. And now we've got Glyphic, Chapter 2, Season 1. It's getting rare again after being in the vaulted a year or more tab. And of course, you can't forget about the classics like Jitterbug. There it is. It's a great emote right there. And Lavish, which used to be the rarest emote in the game at one point, fun fact. Orange Justice, very cool emote. And Square Up, our first exclusive emote. This is a PlayStation exclusive from Chapter 2 Season 7. And the look, the Balenciaga emote, I believe. And it is getting rare as Balenciaga or whatever was cancelled for something, I don't know. Tuss used to be rarest emote, and Vibrant Vibin, a Twitch exclusive emote, very cool, love the colors, definitely better than the original Vibin emote. And now we've got all the green, you know, just random junk that's there. We've got the Curling Iron, which was a challenge emote. Most challenge emotes are in fact green, dunk on them, Michael Jordan, and the Jordan brand emote. It is getting rare, again. GG well played. That is a brand new emote, the gun show, also getting rare. Jazz hands, also getting rare. Ah yes, the PlayStation emote, and the Kablama, which was an exclusive spray. I don't remember how to get it. The Noisemaker, this is again a 200 V-Buck emote that comes into the shop every new year. And then Phono Follies, a really funny emote. Definitely worth the 300 V-Bucks, even though I almost never use it. Ego spin like crazy. We've got Prickly Pose. I actually think this is getting rare again. Haven't seen it in the shop for a bit. And Snackin', which is definitely getting rare. Hasn't been in the shop in a lot of days. And... Of course, the days will be on screen. Sweaty Rotation. This was a summer challenge emote from last year, 2022. Toasty Roast. This is a turn of the chapter emote. If you watched the event, where are you going? Also a good one. So that's my locker, basically. Of course, we. it's a pretty stacked one. Uh, and the grand total of V-Bucks that I have spent will be on screen right now. It may not be accurate. I didn't feel like adding everything, but thanks for watching.